guys, welcome to the second episode of Cook My Life. So in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a really simple recipe on making the coolest dessert that you can find on Instagram, which is the raindrop cake. So the raindrop cake originated from a Japanese dessert and then I think this guy brought it over to the US and then suddenly it's popping up everywhere on social media. And I guess it's because of the way it looks, it's kind of like you're holding a raindrop in your hand and also because they market it as zero calories. So while it has no nutritional value, it's like eating water if that makes sense. Uh, it's also not fattening, so it's one of those desserts that you can just indulge in guilt-free. So this is one of those recipes that you have to try out at home, so let's get started! These are all the ingredients that you'll need. It's really really simple and you can get them at your local grocery store. So since it boils really quickly, what I like to do is just to keep stirring it so the agar agar powder will mix well with the water, so you don't get those little little bits inside. So once the water starts boiling, I'll just set it aside while I prepare the plastic moulds to put my raindrop cakes in. For the moulds, I'm actually using these Christmas decoration balls. So I split it into half. Uh, in order to stabilise the moulds, I'm actually using a chocolate tray here. But if you don't have something like that, you can use an egg tray or even a cup like this. So you just put the bowl on top like this. So it doesn't like fall everywhere in your chiller and you spill it everywhere. Okay. So now you're going to scoop the mixture which should have cooked a little bit by now then you just pour it into the moulds try to pour it gently so you don't create like a lot of bubbles in it so now you just place the entire tray into the chiller for about 1 to 2 hours So now we're just going to mix the brown sugar and water and just boil it until it becomes a bit sticky and thick. So after 1 to 2 hours, this should be how your raindrop cake looks like. Ta-da! You are free to plate this however you want it to be, how artistic you want it to be. I'm just going for like a traditional way where we have half of it is the syrup and then half of it will be the kinako powder. As you can see, it's very wobbly. So this is how your final product should look like. It should be perfectly clear, like a water drop. And if you just jiggle it a little bit or the slightest touch, it will just wobble a lot. And this is why people like to take pictures and videos of it so much because it doesn't look like any of the other cakes that you see out there. It's like a very magical kind of thing. Like how can I hold this water drop in my hands? But actually you can and it's very simple to do. What it should taste like is, um, the moment you put it in your mouth, it should melt and just glide down very smoothly. So, I hope you guys try this out and enjoy this tutorial. So, we'll see you guys next episode. Bye!